Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to add a vertical slider for our product page with Dawn Team. Uh, Dawn Team just had a new update on December 2021. And if you go to your, your Shopify store, you open your Dawn Team. Let's open this uncustomized Dawn Team. And we're going to go customize it. And you should open the Team Editor. So from here, we can choose the products and then default product. And you should be able to click this product information and then you can have the uh, desktop layout would be thumbnail carousel. So you should see a carousel right here. And how to check if you have the latest version. So to check, you have to go out from here and then we're going to use this uncustomized Dawn and then click actions and then edit code. So when you go all the way down to config folder, you should be able to see it in the setting underscore schema. And you should see this team version right here. If you have team version 2.4, you can use the product page modification I created before. Just click on the link above this video. I made some modification. I created a, a vertical slider instead. So this is how it looks like. You should still be able to use the hover just like the debut team and you can still have the video. And when you click on the variants, you should be able to have both uh, the pictures updated. And then you can still use this arrows right here. It should work. And with this, you can also reposition the thumbnail. So when you click the product information, you can have the thumbnail to the left. And then you can still choose the media size for the desktop. You can have small, medium, and large. You still can be able to use the sticky content. So when you scroll on the product info, the picture should stay. You're still going to be able to use the hide other variants media and also the enable video looping. So this is the view for a medium sized desktop. Let's see the full size screen. So let's click this one here. So this is the full size for the large media and you should be able to view it on mobile as well and it should look like this so um, the videos should still work and then I take out the model because the model was just annoying and then you should be able to also um, use this one and you can still see the counter right here. I only have six um, available images since I had the uh, other variants of media. To do this, you have to go to your Shopify store. We're going to click online store. And then we're not going to edit the current team. But if you want to edit the current team, you click actions. And then duplicate the team and then edit on a duplicated team. But I do want to use this Dawn team that I have not customized yet. So when you click actions and then edit code and let's close this um, setting schema, the one that we opened a while ago, and then we're going to go to our section folder and we're going to look for main product liquid. So this one, open that one and then we're going to replace the code right here. We're going to go to our website and we're going to grab this code, the first code. And then we're going to go back to our code editor. I'm just going to expand our screen right here by clicking this icon. And we're going to highlight this one, control A to highlight and then delete the whole thing. So we're just going to replace all the codes that we have here, control V to paste. And then you can also highlight it, control A to highlight and then press shift tab to reformat it and then click save. Now we're going to open our CSS file. So I deleted the component slider right here, but I keep the section dash main dash product. So let's open that and we're going to go to our asset folder. And we're going to look for section dash main dash product. So this one, so open that one and we're going to go back to our code again. And we're going to go all the way down and then we're going to copy this code right here. So click to copy and go back to our code editor and then we're going to replace this code as well. So delete this code and then control V to paste and then just highlight and then shift tab to uh, reposition or reformat and click save on that one. And the next one is to add our JavaScript code. So we're going to go to our global.js 
and we're going to go all the way down since we're going to add our code right here. So go back to the website again, and then we're just going to copy this code right here and then go back to our code editor and we're just going to paste it at the bottom of the global.js file. So we're just going to highlight this one and then click shift tab to reposition. And the last thing we're going to do is to add another JavaScript. Add a new asset in the asset folder. And then this one, we're going to name vertical media gallery. And we're going to change the .css to JS. And then click add asset. And then we're going to open this one, the vertical media gallery. So let's open that. Then we're going to go back to our website again, and then we're going to grab the last code. So make sure you have vertical media gallery and then click to copy. And we're just going to paste this code right here and then click save. And that's it. Make sure you save all the stuff and then you should be able to see the um, edited code. So when you go to customize theme, um, right click and then open a new tab, you should see the product here, open the products and then default product. And you should be able to see the changes. So everything should work. Let me know if you have any question and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.